It's 8 p.m. in Paris. Polls have closed in front this French elections finale. They're counting ballots across uh, France, and the results, many surprises uh, to pick through. First, exclusive projections from partners Ipsos with Diptyque Laurent. Look at these projections, uh, Francois. You've got uh, that left-wing coalition led by Jean-Luc Mélenchon with uh, 149 seats. Emmanuel Macron's uh, party, 224 seats. That's well below the 280 that he was hoping for to get an absolute majority in the National Assembly. Another figure to look at, look at this, the far right, Marine Le Pen's National Rally Party, 89 seats uh, in the French Parliament now. And of course, it'll be really this number here, the 78 that the French conservative Conservatives got that could decide uh, the, the face of this future National Assembly, Francois. Mark Perlman, a uh, couple of points. First, before we start coalition building, the national rally, the far right, they didn't just break their previous record, they smashed it, they obliterated it. Absolutely, this is the big surprise of the night. According to the estimates, the national rally getting 89 seats in parliament, uh, the previous record was 35, and this was back in 1986, when there was proportional voting. And uh, I'm sure they didn't even expect this uh, themselves. Uh, the projections were that they would get half those seats, which already would be a lot. That being said, uh, they are not going to decide in the National Assembly, uh, because uh, obviously uh, Emmanuel Macron's coalition still gets uh, the highest number of seats, but it's much less than they expected, and it's much less uh, than the 289 uh, magic number. We were expecting uh, them uh, to be very close to that. Uh, they're very far from it. And uh, also, uh, let's uh, face it, uh, the new leftist alliance expected more than 150 seats. This is what they're likely to get. They become the number one uh, opposition. Uh, but interestingly, the conservatives lost less than expected. They're getting around 78 seats, according to our estimates, which means they will be kingmakers because Emmanuel Macron will be forced to turn to them if he wants to reach that magic number, 289. So we entered a new phase in French politics because there will have to be coalition building here in France. Well, a lot's going to happen uh, on Monday morning in this country. Uh, three shades of uh, institutions for the French abroad represented here on this set with us uh, to break down these election results. Uh, with us, Green Party candidate Charlotte Mainvielle running for parliament in the Northern Europe constituency of the French abroad, part of that left-wing alliance. Thanks for being with Thank us. Thank you. Thanks, uh, uh, the French abroad, who, by the way, have a have a uh, uh, representative uh, body. Uh, Thierry Masson of Emmanuel Macron's uh, Renew Party represents uh, Belgium in that assembly. Yes, indeed. Thanks, indeed. thanks for being with us. And uh, uh, French Senator Ronan Le Gleu of the conservative uh, Les Républicains represents the uh, French abroad. Uh, thank you for joining us as well. Thank you.